In this video, we're going to start our look at basic editing in Newtone. Before we get into editing tools, let's take a look at the basic zooming tools in Newtone. If you have been an FL Studio user for a while, then zooming tools are nothing new. But for those that may not be so familiar, by clicking and dragging on the edges of both the horizontal and vertical scroll bars in the edit window will allow you to zoom in or out on your audio sample. Okay, let's take a look at some of the basic editing tools. And the first up is the hand tool. When you place your mouse cursor on the left side of a note, the cursor will become a hand. Use this tool to move the note's timing, much as you would do when editing a MIDI note. Oh yeah! When you place the mouse cursor on the left edge of a note, the cursor becomes a double-sided arrow cursor and allows you to trim the start point of the note. The same rule applies when you place the cursor over the right edge of a note to apply trim to the end of the note. You may have noticed that when you trimmed the start or end of a note, the variations between the previous and or following note will be altered as well. If you wish to edit the note and its variations independently of the notes around it, then simply click on the edge of the note, hold the Alt key and begin dragging. When you place the cursor in the middle of a note, the cursor will change to an up and down arrow. With this cursor, you can move the note's pitch by dragging it either up or down. Notice that as I change the pitch of the note, we can audition the pitch of the new note. We can also use the keyboard oh, yeah. on the left of the edit window as a guide when moving the pitch of a note. Oh, yeah. If there is a note that you wish to remove, then simply select that note and select delete from the edit menu. Or simply hit delete on your keyboard to remove the selected note. If you wish to splice a single note into multiple notes to allow more detailed editing, you can use the slice tool by selecting the cut mode button to the right above the editing window and placing the cursor and clicking where you wish to splice the note. Now you can treat the note as two individual notes. Right clicking on a note will have it automatically quantize to the closest pitch. There are a few options that might help when navigating and editing in Newtone. First, while holding Ctrl and Alt, clicking and dragging will allow you to scroll both horizontally and vertically within the editor. Use the mouse wheel to scroll vertically in the editor. Use Shift and the mouse wheel to scroll horizontally. Use the control and mouse wheel to zoom horizontally. Use the alt and mouse wheel to zoom vertically. So, in this video, we took a look at some of the basic editing functions. In the next video, oh, yeah. we'll take a look at some of the global editing and MIDI export functions oh, yeah. in Newtone. 